So check this out, Purdue University Northwest has a free online cybersecurity workforce certificate uh, training that you can go through for free. So let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I wanna give a shout out to Kev Tech IT Support YouTube channel. I'll go down and have a link to his channel down in the description of the video. But he's the one that actually shared this on his channel uh, on the community tab, basically showing that there was some free online training out there and he tagged me in it. And so I figured I would make a video uh, walking you guys through this training that's free you know on their website and just walk you guys through how to actually apply for it and pretty much what it's all about so let's hop over to my browser so we can go through the training okay cool so as you can see this is uh pnw.edu uh and four slash cyber security four slash cwct so this is that certification training that i was talking about cyber security workforce uh training but uh, free online cybersecurity workforce certificate or certification training, sorry. Uh, PNW is proud to introduce highly qualified professionals into the cybersecurity workforce. And as I've been saying on this channel for a very long time that the cybersecurity field is in need of people because of all these cyber attacks and all these things going on in the world when it comes to cyber warfare, and companies out here that that need cybersecurity people and so the jobs are there the pay is there as well there's just not enough people so that's why a lot of these training courses are coming out to ramp up the amount of people working in the cybersecurity field and then also this certification is tailored towards military uh, personnel so military active duty reserve you know veterans all that good stuff you can sign up for this uh, to try to help you get into the cyber security field because I know a lot of people join the military they only do like four years or whatever their uh, contract commitment is and they're trying to figure out what they want to do at that point well this is a viable option for you to actually help you get into the cyber security field once you get out the the military or hang up your uniform and everything so as you can see it says register for this free online certification training to enhance your career opportunities and here is the registration so all you gotta do is uh click register today you can ask questions but it says open to all adult learners interested in ai cybersecurity jobs transitioning and upskilling with priority given to military and first responders so it does include first responders so that's dope right there but it says registration requires proof of citizenship or resident status education uh, records and or military first responder service uh, history and before i go further in the thing i want to show you guys uh, the steps to apply and i just click that link steps to apply but essentially this is this breaks down all the information they need from you so u.s citizens so you need birth certificate you know all the typical stuff uh military and law enforcement so hey that's why when i used to talk to people in the military that were in the military you got to hang a hang on to those dd214s you know what i'm saying on military orders les uh erb police id correction id emt license or id diploma certificate from the police academy so i'll let it work for you and then step two create your my iv account uh and then they'll be contacting you from the grant department or grant team uh then step three complete assessment so there is an assessment they try to figure out where you are uh but it says english assessment stem math assessment uh it assessment so and then also academic policy for cwct training program so course passing grade policy so 60 percent or higher so d or d or higher uh course enrollment policy must pass prerequisite course uh with the passing grade uh course in incomplete policy uh this will be granted by instructors upon requests right after the course is ended participants will have 14 days to finish upon granted and it is the responsibility of the participant to notify the instructor uh course grade appealing process so you can appeal i'm not going to read the whole sentence but uh 
certification requests, protocol and policies, a Google form collecting information. Uh, let's see, you certified will add verified participants to uh, CWCT, you certified.com uh, to access certificate preparation material for eight weeks. Uh, voucher uh, will be purchased for those who receive a 90% or higher on post assessment. So that's that's good right there. It says this voucher will be valid for eight weeks until August 31st, uh, 2023, whichever comes first. Now, let's go back to the main page right fast because I wanted to cover a little bit more of it. But it says training path uh, from security or systems administrator to digital forensics. Uh, discover which training path is right for you. The 10 weeks non-credit college level courses are offered online with virtual live lectures at a scheduled time. And then let's just click on the programs as well. I wanted to show you guys that, uh, but training paths. So cybersecurity, and I'm gonna just break them down right here. They got all three of them right there. Uh, but cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, so CSI, uh, AI certificate program, they got the cybersecurity digital forensics certification program, and then they got the cybersecurity systems administrator certification uh, program. And I probably should have went through this before I went through the steps to apply, but I don't know. I just wanted to at least show you guys these steps first, since it was brought up in an earlier you know, uh, paragraph within the article, but it says, uh, this, this breaks down each one of the tracks. Um, so the cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, this track offers six courses that cover the fundamentals of computer systems, networks, and cybersecurity, as well as topics in fundamentals of artificial intelligence, IOT and hardware security. Uh, the next one, the Cybersecurity Systems Administration. Uh, this track offers a six week course that covers the fundamentals of computer systems, networks, and cybersecurity, as well as advanced topics in cy cyber infrastructure development and security protection. Uh, the next one is this track offers six courses that cover the fundamentals of computer systems, networks, cybersecurity, as well as advanced topics in cyber forensics investigation. Now, that's dope right there. That's something I would say police or people that are police, police officers can hop into because that's something that the police departments are actually going to a lot. In a lot of cases, they all have like a cybersecurity department or a cyber department. You know what I'm saying? In a lot of big cities where, you know, because cybercrime happens. And so they need people to investigate it. Uh, and I'm sure they, they're probably hiring people at a lower level now to actually handle stuff like this. I believe a lot of that work was contracted out. Like they would contract a private, you know, organization to uh, handle like some horror drivers or something that they're trying to get some off or contact another agency like the FBI or something to that effect to actually do the forensics on uh, digital equipment. But that's something that can, you know, definitely help out people that are on a police force. You know what I'm saying? To help build your career and change into a side, more cybersecurity role. But it says topics include Windows and Linux and A. Hey, and I'm always excited to hear Linux, computer technologies, then cloud technologies, network, Python programming, uh, cybersecurity fundamentals, ethical hacking, hardware security, computer and mobile forensics, artificial intelligence and machine learning. The program consists of eight weeks uh, learning with six instructional hours per week and two weeks for certification preparation and examination. And then here are some of the job categories. So this is something that they reckon or they say you could possibly get, you know, once you get these certifications, but information security, security analyst, IT network, computer cloud systems administrator, IT analyst, IT support, forensics investigator, etc. So that's super cool right there. Uh, they have a little bit more. I didn't want to make the video too long, but um, this is the course description. Uh, it goes through CompTIA A+, Security+, Cyber Ops, Linux Systems Administration, Python Essentials, Ethical Hacking, uh, Cloud Systems Administration, Computer Forensics, Mobile Forensics, uh, Machine Learning for Cybersecurity, IoT and Hardware Security, Computer Hacking, Forensics, Investigation, Investigator, so uh, CHFI. 
so that's dope right there that's basically the course description uh they do have a frequently asked question so you guys can check this out at your leisure um i don't want to go through and read all of this i just wanted to put it out there you know my man kev tech it support is the one that actually sent this to me uh as you can see this is his channel make sure you subscribe he's definitely putting out a lot of great information but if you go to his community tab uh he put this link in there for it i also put it on my channel as well uh so shout out to him for actually sharing this uh he's always putting out good information i try to do the same when i run across something uh that i see that is beneficial for people uh, i'll try to put those out but yeah, definitely check out his channel. Definitely uh, subscribe to it. Um, and also check out my channel as well. You know what I'm saying? I got that uh, Linux introduction to Linux course on my channel. Um, it's for free. It was picked up by Free Code Camp a little while ago. Um, and it has over like 400,000 uh, views on it with a whole bunch of uh, good reviews so the training is actually doing its job and actually helping people putting put getting giving them a good introduction to the Linux operating system which was the whole purpose of me putting in that time and providing that out or putting that out on my channel uh, is just mainly to get it in front of as many eyes as possible to get them learning Linux now I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, please like share and subscribe to the channel and of course I also have my memberships turned on so if you guys want to support the channel so I can keep continue putting out great content as much as I can then go on and consider signing up for the membership uh, I believe the lowest tier is $4.99 and like I said all that money goes right back into the channel for me to purchase equipment as well as build out these training courses that I've been uh, working on and providing things for you guys so i hope you guys have a wonderful day and of course keep it techie